another video of Maria Hargis. Um, thank you so much for coming. Now, I wanted to give you some ideas that you can do, some art projects that you can do with free software. So, I showed you, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, one of the drawings that I've done and the art. Um, but I really, mainly for this, I wanted to introduce you to where you need to go as far as website to download the software program called Media Bang Paint Pro. Um, they have it in many different formats. Hi, this is Maria, and welcome back to another video that I've done. And here we go. Um, I, I know some of y'all are wondering, what can I do during this time when I'm stuck in the house, I'm not working, and I want to feel like my time is being productive. Well, if it, any of y'all are artists, or even if you're not very well, that's okay. You can still do this as a hobby. There is a couple of software programs that are free, so you don't have to spend out any money. One to mention you today is called Media Bang Paint Pro. And this is what you're looking here. This is one of the art that I've actually done. And all. What's fun about this is one of the art that I worked on and I submitted it to the Trace and Draw contest on Media Bang Paint Pro. And I will so show you. Okay, so this is uh, the link where you can go on it. You can go on MediaBangPaint.com and you can download the software program. Now what's great about this is if you don't have a computer and you want to do this on your phone, they have the version for your for your mobile device and they also have it for the tablet. So if you did have a tablet, you can do this as well on it. So if you don't have a computer or you just want to do it on your phone, you can do it on your phone. Um, it's fun that way too, because you know you can use a touch screen. So it's for any devices. You got Windows, Macs, iPhone, um, iPad, iPhones, Androids, pretty much just about any device it comes on. And here are the different versions where you can download. Um, they even show you a video on somebody actually drawing Obama using it, because it even is that details where you can. And then they show you handy things. They also have like toner, background, brushes, fonts, and things like that on the materials and everything that you can use for it. So it comes with a lot of stuff um, besides just the cloud, besides you can just um, submit some work and everything. But this will just give you, get you started. So you can get started on here. So um, it's free. So, and it's a really easy, easy, and easy usable program. Or if you do have kids or anything like that, this is a good software programs to, you know, help, you know, introduce them to do more drawing and stuff like that. And so if they are looking for some fun things to keep them engaged, keep them motivated, especially since school is out, contests are an awesome way for that. Right now, and you're looking for projects, you're also feeling maybe feeling a little down to the situation. And you want to do something utilized for your situation. You want to feel like you have a purpose. Well, contests is a great ways. Um, I'm basically using them right now to brainstorm new characters and new ideas. And I'm using them as exercise to try to, like, better off my skills as an artist and all. Because I have been working with Media Bang Paint Pro for probably about a year now. But still, I want to sharpen my skill and get better and improve at my art. So... It's handy. It's great exercise you can do. The uh, color contest theme. So basically, just as it says, it's all about color. You can click on the submission detail for information regarding how the contests work. You can view the submissions that always be. Or you can click later if you want on your notification and all. Um, to use Media Bang Paint Pro, you would have to create an account on this site. Um, because it's a cloud base, so you can save all your work on the cloud on this server. Also, so here's another one. This is a good one. This one is not going all the way out until June 15. It is the Spread in Art Street. Um, it's a rank um, system. So basically, you can submit as many as you want on this contest, and it will give you a better chance. And it's basically they rank you a higher and all based on how well your art is. So you have that one. Um, you got one, Brag About Your Own Country. It's a really good one. So you can do any kind of artwork, um, something that is related to the country that you're in. And it's a good way of bragging about your country, too, at the same time. And this one is May 11th. Um, then they have the Easter theme. 
um, that is the expiration deadline for that is not until May 1st. So basically anything theme Easter. You got the Gather an Original um, Illustrator Contest. That's also another good one for those who have original work. Um, you can definitely share. This one is the one that you saw with the art that I have I did. It's the Trace and Draw. So any beginner ones can do this. And so what I'm going to do is click on here and take you to the detail and show you what the details that's going to look like. So here on this one, they even tell you like all the prizes, you know, comments, prices of money, traces, award, like awards, such and such. They're all in yen because this is actually a Japanese server um, that does it. And these are some of the pictures they have. You can click here to get the like the material for it and all. So you get two file base. You get the MDP, which is the Media Bank Paint Pro. Uh, file name for it and then you get the PSD so if you did have other software programs like um, Adobe Illustrator, Finia Designer or any other programs um, you can you know load the um, PSD file for that if you didn't want to use MediaBank Paint Pro even though it's free okay so that's where you can download them and you can download those different uh, trace characters and all so this is a great one for if you are a beginner or if you're just doing this for a hobby or you're just doing this for fun because all you're basically doing is you can go on there and you can trace them they're basically encouraging you to they just want to get your own input on it and your own design on on them so you can make any kind of character and all so here that you can see it, they even walk you through it. They do want to make sure that if you do do this contest, you want to click on the contest button when you hit submission and all. One very important thing about the rules for this contest is there is an art logo that comes with the file. If you don't have the art logo in, on, on the actual um, art, then it won't count it as the contest for this one. You won't, it, it'll basically kick you out. So you definitely want to make sure you read over the details on it and go through these. And then they give you all the awards and everything and how you claim your um, and stuff. And then you can just hit the word, hit enter. Um, so if you are wondering what kind of, here, view submissions. So if you've been wondering what kind of people, uh, you know, what kind of art people have been putting out, then you can click on this tab on view submissions, and these are just some of the ideas that people have done um, for the contest. So there's there's like no wrong answer for this. You can do like pretty much any kind of art for it. And it's a good thing for you to do if you're just stuck in your home and you're trying to figure out something fun to do that you can do that's free. And you also learn a new skill. You're learning Media Bank Paint Pro and all. And so you can use that. So this is what some of the contest people have done. Um, people have submitted. Some people follow the rules. Some people haven't followed the rules. It's great. So you see from the video that I went over the contest, and you can see how it's really helpful about how to get you to get you started. It's really great. I mean, if you have, even if you want to do this with your kids, if your kids are home with you, you could make up an account and then just supervise them and do it it would be a great project. So if you don't even want them to download the stuff on there, there is way for you to save it on whatever device that you have where you don't actually have to be connected to the cloud. So you can make it possible for that to happen if you don't want to use that. However, to download the software program, you will need to create an account with that website to be able to. Okay. okay? And thank you so much for watching the video and everything like that. If you like this video, please make sure you hit like, um, subscribe to the video. I'm going to have more content like this for you. So if you are still running out of ideas for like art and all, um, let me know in the comment things that you would like to see from me because I really do love your feedback if I can get your feedback because I am going to be making uh, more videos um, kind of like this content where I'm just trying to help you figure out ideas for art, 
contests. Um, what I'll probably do about contests, just like I did with showing you in the video, I'll probably do this every once in a while, and I'll do a new video updating on um, contests that you can go ahead and go for, because I'm going to be submitting a bunch. I already submitted, like, three, and also in the description of the video, I will have the links to those arts so you can look at those. Because it would be great if you could. I always love feedback on my art. It really actually helps encourage me to do more art when I get more encouragement from all of y'all. So that's also great. I'm working on some possibly some ideas for some more t-shirts with those three art pieces that I just did for contests. So I'm probably going to put them on t-shirts if you are interested in supporting me that way. Also, if you did want to support me, you can also sign for my Patreon. I do have a Patreon as low as $2 a month. And if you can't, that's fine. Um, just like, describe, share. Those things are helpful. They really are. And so, thank you so much for watching the video with me. And until next time. <laughs>